Hi everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sicham by Jacob and uh, I guess you're doing fine wherever you're watching this video from. Okay, so to solve the quadratic equation by the method called factorization, you have to understand. So let me just start with this. I just give you an idea of uh, one or two things. So here, this is uh, a x power 2 plus b x plus c is equal to 0. So if you can see nicely, the way it looks, it looks like this. But here I'm using uh, a, b, c to represent the numbers in front. Okay. So please note that these are coefficients. And when we talk about coefficients, we're simply talking about uh, actually these two. We're talking about uh, numbers, okay, that are in front of uh, some letters. I know some may say, but these two are letters. I want you to put it in your mind that these are numbers, okay? So, the method of factorization can be worked out, okay, by understanding that uh, there is what we call product, okay? There is what we call product. And of course, you know that product is the other way of saying uh, multiplication or times. There is also need to know sum. And of course, you know that sum uh, simply means addition. Okay, that's what it means. So now, this product can be found by multiplying. That's why it's called product. Multiplying your A times your C, okay? So always A times C, it's giving us the product, which is, uh, for example, here you say two times, uh, times three, okay? So now from here, to identify your sum, you just get uh, the B, the number that is with the X, your B. In this case, it's a five. That's our, our sum, okay? So now, when you find this, you now get to identify what we call factors. So before start solving, or before start uh, solving your, your quadratic equation, you first need to identify your product, you identify your sum, and the factors. So factors, these, okay, are two numbers, such that when you multiply them, they give you the product, and when you add them, they give you the sum. I'll explain more on factors. For now, this is what you need to understand. Okay. I hope you are following. Okay. So now, let's do this. Let's use the this information. Try to answer our, our question right over here. So let's say this. What is our product? What is our product? So the product here will be to multiply this by this. That is a 2 times 3, which is giving us what? A 6. We now know that our product is what? Is a 6. Okay? And then sum. Sum, I said, you get the number which is with what? With x here. That is a, a 5. Now for factors... These factors will be two numbers. When you multiply them, they give you six. And when you add them, they give you five. So those two numbers will be a two and a three. Because when you multiply these two, you are getting a, a six. Okay? And when you add them, you are getting a, a five. So now, this is where people get a little bit stuck on how to get these. So what I encourage students, or what I'm encouraging you, is that always go to your product. In this case, our product is a 6. And then identify the numbers which are able to go into 6. We know that uh, 1 is able to go into 6. Uh, what else? A 2, a 3, and a 6 itself. Okay? Once you identify these, 
get now their negative side. Oh, this is two, and this is a negative six. So these are the numbers which are able to go into six. One into six, two into six, three into six, and also the negative side. This is this is a two. Okay. So when you identify these numbers, like we've identified, you now start playing with them. So pick these two, maybe this one and this one. Try to multiply them. Are they going to give you six? No. What about if I get this and this? When I multiply, am I getting six? No. What about if I get this and this? I multiply, I'm getting a six. What about when I add them? I'm getting seven, not a five. So these are not working. You need to pick. There are only two numbers out of the family of these numbers which are able to go into, into six. So they're just two. And when you pick those two, okay, you work them out, okay? They must give you six when you multiply and when you add them, they must give you a five. And those numbers are this, two, and a three. If I multiply... I'm getting a, a 6. If I add 2 plus 3, I'm getting a 5. So I know that my factors are 2 and, uh, and a 3. Okay. So I know that my factors, because these are the two numbers I need. Factors are 2 and 3. Now you come to your question. Write the first term. So the term with power 2, write it. But the term which is here, your B, don't write it. In place of uh, B, which is a 5x, substitute these two factors. Okay? So that is a 2x plus 3x plus 3 is equal to zero. So now we've substituted these factors uh, where 5x is. And from here, you find what is common. You pair, okay, these two and these two, the way they are. So these are together and these two are together. Now between these two, what is it that is common? It's a two and also x. So 2x can go there and 2x can go there. You see, a 2 is common. It can go here and here. x is also common, can go there and there. Now you start factorizing. In other ways, these two terms, you factorize. So you say 2x into 2x power 2, it's x. And then 2x into 2x, it's a 1. Okay? You say, what is common here? It's a, it's a 3. 3 into 3x, three it's x. 3 into 3, it's a 1, which is equal to 0. Okay? So, you are there. To those people who are, who are not understanding what is happening here, what I've just done here, it's something like that looks like this. Let's say you've got uh, P or 2p plus 4, okay? And they ask you to factorize. You are going to say 2 is what is common. It's found here and here. So you can say 2 into 2p, it will just be a p. 2 into 4, it will be a 2. It means you factorized. Let me give you another example. When you've got m power 2 plus m, okay? And they ask you to factorize, you're going to say m is what is common. It's found here and here. So m into m power 2, it's m. m into m, that's a 1. So you've factorized, okay? You see, this is uh, the concept which has been applied here, right here. Between these two terms, 2x is common. Between these two terms, 3 is common. And after that, you now get what is in front of uh, the brackets. So that is a 2x plus 3, this and this. Put them together. You get one of these. Just get this, which is uh, 
which is x plus 1 close is equal to 0. You can now say 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now from this stage, from this stage right here, you can say 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Get this one, okay? And uh, after getting this, or in other words, to those people who don't know what I did here, I just got what is inside the brackets equal to 0, what is here also equal to 0. Since there are two which are being multiplied, you say O here, okay? I hope you're able to see. So now, from here, you can solve this. 3 will cross the equal sign. It will be minus 3. You divide by 2 here by 2. This and this will go. X will simply be equal to negative 3 over 2. So this is the value of X. For the other value of X, you get this equation. You say X plus 1 is equal to 0, which is this one. And then you say x is equal to negative 1. This one cross the equal sign, it will be minus 1. So these are the two solutions. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, leave a comment in the comment section, and uh, subscribe. This has been Sichamba Jacob, and bye-bye. Uh,